Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. Minutes. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where I forgot to write this part of my notes, uh, <laughs> where we do what with the film we, Indiana we, Jones. We dust off. Oh, the, yeah, we dust off thousands of years of uh, questions about. <laughs> the <laughs> very, very, skull. very, very, very questionable archaeological practices. Beautiful. Okay, with this, with a one minute at a time, something. Okay, beautiful. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm Tom Taylor. <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> I'm Pete Mummert. <laughs> I'm Gerald Christopher Unky Jer Porter. <laughs> and we have a <laughs> today I would like to uh introduce our guest, a very special guest and cinephile, and uh this just in and out of Christy Porter's uterus, <laughs> my <laughs> nephew <laughs> William Burke is, <laughs> is joining <laughs> us today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Will. <laughs> Welcome, Will. I am glad you could have me. Thank you so much. Oh, oh certainly. Course. Yeah, this is awesome. Especially for the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get enough porters on the show, so it's yes. good. Thank you. Um, um, well, you're going to help us out, Will, as we talk about Minute 102 of Crystal Skull, which begins with the gang entering a chamber filled with obtained rare antiquities and ends with Oxley holding the skull up and regarding a big door. And... Uh, Often in scenes like this for like, hey, where's the light coming from? I can see everything so beautifully, but they're like in this big, crazy underground thing. Where's the light coming from? And Indiana Jones actually does the, th he like actually gets rid of his torch as if to say, eh, don't worry about it. Like there actually is light. It's not just like a movie thing where you can see, even though you shouldn't be able to see, there's actually light in here and I can't explain it, but it's, it's fine. Like we can all yeah. see. Well, all yeah. You know, I had a question for you, Will. Oh, or maybe Pete, you can chime chime in. In antiquity, I'm wondering. So, so basically, what Indy does, he puts the torch in this bronze urn, and I'm wondering. So, in in ancient times, is is was that their version of a light switch? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a very good uh, question, you know. And I had similar thoughts, you know, because. Uh, it was definitely an interesting addition to the temple, you know, and yeah. it, just to have a little torch pot. And I mm -hmm. guess it would be similar to a, a light switch. It reminded me of the back of like an airplane seat, how you could put your book there or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you think in ancient times, if you had gone to Camp Michigania, you would have made like a copper enamel switch plate, like a like torch holder for your mom or something? But I don't use torches. <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. Yeah, I don't use torches anymore. But thank you. It's, it's, a, it's an odd... Like there are lots of torch holders for antiquity. I've never seen one quite like this. This this is mm. like a catch all. I think you nailed it, Will. This is like a spittoon slash torch holder <laughs> slash cup holder. Yep. Wine yeah. urn. Bronze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is the big Charles Foster Kane room with all the stuff. Piles and oh, piles yeah. of stuff. Yeah. My, my, well well, interestingly enough, um, so Pete, what what does he say? Indy says there's blank from every era of early history. It's really confusing. He says there's artifacts from okay. every era of early history, but he yeah. kind of swallows his words. I had to look yes. all, almost up every word from this scene. Like I had to look. Thank it up. you. There's a bunch of stuff. He, I just don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's mumbling. Mum mum like, <laughs> like at one, yeah. he's saying like Macedonian. He's like going through all these. Does he say Samarin? No. Well, he does, but I think he's talking about ancient Sumer. Yeah, that drives oh, okay. me nuts. Yeah, no, I thought he was trying to drives... say Sumerian. No, he... I think okay. it's Sumer. Maybe Sum. I don't even know what the Sumer. <laughs> he is says Sumerian? Sum. He says he says uh, Macedonia, Sumerian. and he says Sumer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're like that. Okay, Sumerian or ancient Sumer, but yeah, it doesn't. Okay, Doctor Jones. <laughs> yeah, I hate I hate Doctor Jones. Um, <laughs> does this uh, does this room, Bill? Does this room look like? A couch uh, fort. 
that you've built? <laughs> couch foot. That's that's kind of specific. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, uh, you 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 spent a lot of time on that question. I, I like this. I like, don't think I'm like knocking it or criticizing it. I like it. Of course not. Of course that, not. That's the that's the majority of Jerry's hard work for he this. He puts episode. a lot of work into his questions, <laughs> Uncle Jerry, and, and you know we don't want to make fun of that. Well, he did. There is a, there is something here. So Andy says, uh, you know, basically artifacts from all these ancient every er, era of early history. So he says like Macedonians. I think it says like early Egyptian, um, Sumer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Etruscan, Babylonian. Etruscans. Yeah. Egyptian. I think. What, do you where what I want to know is when did the aliens stop collecting? Well, th I, this is a huge thing. So Mutt says <laughs> this place is the mother load. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say because every single item in here is lacking situational context. <laughs> it's all take it's all completely lost its historical and archaeological oh, value yeah unless unless the aliens wrote it down and it's also <laughs> lacking any kind of provenance <laughs> That's so there's brilliant. literally like this it's all just like if you appreciate it for the art's sake great but i think they're not archaeologists unless <laughs> i mean this is all the opposite of archaeology. This That's is the looting. thing. He's at the end of his little like spiel, like after he names all the places or all the periods or whatever, he kind of goes, they were archaeologists. And there's like a little grin <laughs> and there's a little like Raiders trill or something. I don't know. Wait if I a minute. Wait not. a minute. But wait, but wait. Okay. The thing, the reason I, I was trying to, okay, what exactly are they saying? And the reason that he's smiling right here is because if those aliens were around for all these periods, that's not archaeology. It's just right. taking stuff. It's just stealing it's stuff. It's anthropology. Like, that's that's archaeology. All right. <laughs> They're they archaeologists just like me. I just yeah. see, I stuff. thought, see, I thought that I read that completely differently because oh. I didn't go mumble on this whole, I can't hold everything. <laughs> but I thought he said, because, okay, so Matt comes over and goes, every museum would give their soul to have this. They Dozens would, yeah. of them, hundreds of them. And then Indy's eyes, you know, light up and he goes, collectors. <laughs> and so he's thinking about, you know, you, you get it's it's fascinating. You get this insight into the dark side of Indiana Jones and his collecting. Yeah. And it, yeah. it makes you think of guys from uh, Last Crusade. What's his name? The big rich uh, Donovan. Guy? Yeah. Donovan. Yeah. So Indy yeah. isn't interested in museums. He's interested in selling this to the dude from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, he, so that's a hundred percent because Indy yeah. doesn't have any curiosity about this stuff at all. No, but he then, doesn't stop and look at anything. No, he <laughs> just just, well, like, what he does is he brags. Hobby Lobby, Hobby he, Lobby, he, Hobby Lobby, Hobby like, Lobby, yeah. Hobby Lobby, Ancient Con two thousand. I'll take it to this. I'll take this one to that one. Yeah. But what? So then he said, "Now, Tommy, you said the line is they were archaeologists." Yeah. I, again, I had to look it up, but with the thing that I saw online, he, that's what he says. He says, "Okay, I thought he said." were archaeologists well, meaning he was catching himself from going to the dark side and selling it to collectors uh wait that indy was that indy, indy was, was i did i not like your know. read on that but i don't think that's what he's saying no i i think you guys are right but i thought he was saying think of all the money we could make selling this to collectors and mm. i was like wow they still show indy's checkered past that's <laughs> right, pretty right. cool but then <laughs> the he aliens goes, have that same checkered past, apparently. Yeah, and you got to remember that it, he's like sixty now. He doesn't care as much about you know going <laughs> off on adventures now, and mm -hmm. you know running from boulders. He's kind of grizzled <laughs> and he's grumpier. And I don't know mm -hmm. if this would be the right time to focus on his age, but they do that throughout the film. So I think I'm in sure. the clear there. But he's yeah. also out of a job yeah. too. He could use. He's the out cash. of a job, and what we don't know what his Roth IRA looks like. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. He might, he might, he might need to find, sell this to the Donovans. You know, who knows? He he probably just lost his health care. But I don't, yeah. know, I don't know how you sell this to the Donovans. Like I don't know. I mean, maybe at this period in time, I I think you'd have to find some sketchy people because there's no way to document that any of this stuff is real. Yeah, that's 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 a really good point. That's a really good. That's point. a really good point. With that, yeah, I mean, without the context, you know what, Pete. I've learned on this show, <laughs> on this show, like I learned something about archaeology just now, which you mm -hmm. do without the context. This is just a goddamn statue salad. 
It is. It's just like <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's a, just statues. It's just but, statues thrown together in some mix-up toss salad. Yeah, yeah and it, like there's no, there's nothing that gives us any story about what actually happened, and they're not taken care of. Like it, it really. If you guys ever seen that show, Hoarders Buried Alive? <laughs> no. Like it looks just it. like this. It's <laughs> just like they're just hoarding. And I, they, I don't know if this is actually archaeology or like they were collecting it while these civilizations were around. In which case, it's a little different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, did they, did they, were they in ancient Egypt? And they're like, hey, can you make a statue for us? Like, I don't know. So, when was the last time somebody turned on the the light switch? It's been a while. Like, look at all those cobwebs. Yeah. Well, because he says early Egyptian, and so I wonder, did somebody actually, did somebody try to sell the aliens like? I don't know, a dress of Cleopatra's, and they're like, no, 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 I'm not into that era. Right. So that's, too, that's, that's, that's too new. Guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if he's they, got Babylonian stuff, that's fine, but... Do they ever explain why the aliens have all this stuff? No. Why and they then just when have the this aliens, hodgepodge lodge of stuff? And then when the aliens leave, they just destroy it all. <laughs> Like, they don't care about it. Yep. If we can't have it, no one can. Yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> right. You can't take it with you, so we won't, but we'll wreck it. <laughs> so neither can you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think the only way this makes sense <laughs> is if all these cultures all over the world knew about the aliens and made a pilgrimage to South America oh. and said, we're bringing you our best stuff. Mm. But that or doesn't make sense the... because they couldn't have, like, all those places then would have known about South America and everything would have been one big world. Could Akator have been the last of a bunch of different places where they did this thing? And like, are, is that what they're saying? Is that they actually did? We were saying this like hours and hours ago about, uh, you know, were they hinting? Like when they first mentioned ancient Egypt, oh, this is as old as the pyramids or whatever, or older than the pyramids. Like, were we saying that they, that the aliens had gone to all these different civilizations and they're responsible for the. I think so. For all these different civilizations. And so like, so they, they kept souvenirs from each one. They've got like <laughs> busts and statues it's, and things. What, from, is, is Akator like just a... like the bank you buy. Or like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what if, if, if Akator is just a <laughs> museum? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think it's that though. I think it's like someone's shelf in their bedroom. Like a... Right. It's just like, I got this at SeaWorld. I got this at Disneyland. <laughs> I got this it's at, it's, the, it's yeah. the alien's couch for it. Yeah. <laughs> There's not one uh, lighter shaped like a like a lighthouse or anything in here. You'd expect to see that, and there are a bunch of souvenirs or like a yeah. It should be like a, a license plate with the alien's name on it. Yeah, or like a yeah pocket knife. Yeah, good detail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well, it might also be like the 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 guy that lo- doesn't have a head. It might be his room, like because the other guy. Mm. It might be like well, you know when the kid moves out of the house and goes to college and grow like the parents kind of keep his stuff but then they it eventually ends up in the basement and no one really cares about it and it just gets dusty because he's not there anymore yeah that could like be chuck on happy days <laughs> right oh chuck uh well you're a you're a cinephile here and 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 we need some of that around mm-hmm. here um especially on minute 102 what give us your thoughts on you know you, you've seen all the indiana jones movies Give us your thoughts on on how on Crystal Skull and and where it lands and what what do you think? You mentioned Indy's age. Do you think they've they've dealt with the they've dealt with that well? And what do you think about the reintroduction of Marion and now we see Indy's kid? Well, uh, that's kind of a really interesting perspective because usually when we have like old sequels where they bring back all the old people like uh, like the new Star Wars franchise. Age is kind of the elephant in the room, and mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. you gotta say somehow, yeah, these characters are old now, we're mm-hmm. old now. A lot of time has passed, but they're still, you know, doing stuff. John McClane's still beating up bad guys, mm-hmm, and yeah. you know, uh, so they Indiana Jones kind of, I want to say, subverts that because Indy's still doing all this cool stuff. Harrison Ford didn't want to dye his hair; he did most of the stunts, I think. Yeah, you know, he mm-hmm. really said like, "Yeah, I'm I'm old, but you know, screw you, I'm still, <laughs> I still got I'm gonna do it. I'm showing up for the job and for the yeah. part. Yeah, and this yeah. isn't even the last one. He's gonna do another one next year. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, think how white his hair's gonna be. <laughs> He's not dying, damn thing. <laughs> yeah, and bring back Karen Ravenwood is like a really good uh, way to show that. Honestly, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Now, where does this fit? Like in in the in the uh, in the movies, what, what you have an order for them? Favorite? Uh, what do you mean? Where does it fit? Like, where does it fit? Is your your is it your like favorite? Your ranking. Your, yeah, your ranking. Yeah, yeah, I would consider it better than Temple of Doom. I I don't know mm-hmm. how you guys felt about that one. I've uh, only heard like tell of what you guys thought of it. <laughs> sure, sure. Well. Okay, so you like it better than Temple of Doom, and why? Well, I would consider. Well, first of all, it doesn't have like a racist Asian stereotype. I feel it was kind of sure. offensive. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's that kind of puts it over the. I feel like that should be enough, you know. <laughs> but there's still more palatable. You know the uh, CGI and visual effects are twenty. No, 20 years, I was about to say 30, about 20 years better and more yeah. quality, mm-hmm. and uh, stunt tech is better, and George Lucas is better. It's all just, you know, age is better, kind of. Oh, okay. okay. All Interesting. Right. Interesting. All right. So what, when you are watching, because I know you've been watching a lot of different movies from different eras, actually, and um, when you're watching it... Um, as a you know, a, a, at least one, two, three generations removed, um, then are you do you, do you find that the uh, it, is it does it you know does the time pa- the passage of time or feeling a generation removed does that uh, affect how you enjoy the movie or you watch it? Well, of course it does. You know, I wasn't in the theater when Raiders came out like 40 years ago, so I don't have that nostalgic feeling. I watched it on Blu-ray in my Mm -hmm. living room, Mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of obviously contrasts with people who have been watching and following these characters for decades, and it it does alter, you know, the way I've seen them, because I saw them in like a matter of years. Some people have been watched them, you know, as they came out over the course of like 37 years. I don't know if that's mm-hmm. right. Right, right. But, mm-hmm. you know, so it's less of a journey for me, and it's more of like a quick, uh, quick binge, if you will. So it's definitely yeah. a different experience mm. for me, who was, you know, born after all, most of the movies. Sure, sure. Now, yeah, Pete and Jerry, point. should we look into our souls and question if maybe somebody like will has a pure more honest <laughs> experience of these movies and the, he's not he's not tied to the nostalgia and he's not tied to how old he was in 1984 and stuff like that and he can just judge the movies on their merits or do we ignore yeah. that and go no you're wrong Raiders? <laughs> <laughs> well that sort of sentimentality can be a a, a a boat anchor, but it's a boat anchor that's made of of a, a beautiful heart. And it's a oh. boat anchor you can you can hold on to a clutch like next to your bosom and feel comforted. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Well, what, that's well, true. what? So, Will, where? What is your Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, franchise now? Where you're growing along with it, or what series is there? Is is there one? Is there something that it, it, mm. that you know, the movies are coming out and you're aging as the characters or the movies are aging. Something that you have to, you, you can't binge. You have to sort of grow with in real time. Well, uh, I don't know a specific franchise because I can't really see the future. So I don't know what's going to come out in 30 years. And it's like, oh, Happy Death Day 3, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I know that a new archaeologist movie. Uh, coming out in a few weeks i think like might have already come out it's called uncharted and a lot of people have been talking about it like it's the new indiana jones and Mm -hmm. the studio Mm -hmm. that makes it really wants to make it into a franchise Mm. and it got bad reviews so i don't know if that's going to happen but if it does you know that might be the new indiana jones and of course Mm. there's Cinematic universes are a thing too now that's a huge part of film now for sure Universal's been making like the dark monster universe. Warner Bros. has also been making a monster universe with like King Kong and Godzilla. Mm-hmm. And, right, yeah. Like, the MCU superheroes are a huge part of that, obviously. So they're probably going to be the most likely franchise to age and become nostalgic for people. It is already nostalgic. It's about, I want to say, 14 years old. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is that that is what one year 
less than you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, and this, this is a question I think certainly we've talked a lot about on our show. Um, you've been steeped in the star Wars, you know, whatever they call the new, the, what do you call them? New equals, new requels. I don't know. The redos. The sequels. Sequels. Yeah, sure, sequels. sure. Whatever they yeah. are. <laughs> the, all the new stuff that's come out, whether it's like the, the, the prequels and then also the new, new stuff and then the super new stuff. And then you've also been, you know, you've grown up steeped in, marinated in all the Marvel Universe stuff. Mm -hmm. So do you have a preference? Do you think one is better than the other? Do you enjoy them both? Do you think somebody's dropped the ball? Uh, well, it, it kind of is a case-by-case -case basis. Some, you know, sequels of old people coming back to do old is clearly just for the money, just, you know, to capitalize on old people. Like, sort of like <laughs> IRS scams. What are you calling capitalize? <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I'm looking forward to Indy 5. I'm looking in the mirror I got, here. I got my $30 bill right here. Why you? <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like IRS scams, you know. These are kind of like... And then you have some things. <laughs> these, are, <laughs> these are what scamming is. <laughs> they can just put old people in movies and they're like, yes, hooray. IRS scam. <laughs> Indy 5 is like an IRS scam. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Dude, too. Yeah. And then, you know, there are some uh, sequels and reboots that are actually, like, really well done and made by fans who grew up on the franchise. Like, mm -hmm. I would consider Indiana Jones 4. It isn't perfect. I'm not going to say it's perfect. It has aliens that immediately destroy themselves at the end of the movie. <laughs> but <laughs> Do they? Yeah, maybe it's a des another dimension. I don't know, Fair but enough. like it's it's uh, you really have to put care into these things. And Indiana Jones Four does that well. And sequels are still being made today from like '80s franchises like Child's Play and uh, you know <laughs> yeah. Karate Kid. Jesus. And a lot of yeah. people those both got TV shows recently, and yeah. they're both really amazing. Some of my favorite yeah. shows, which is the, the Karate Kid one. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you've seen it. I haven't, but I want to. Yeah, and people say it's great. Yeah, people say it's great. So what is the difference? How, why is the Karate Kid, uh, whatever, reboot or intergenerational success, why is that not an IRS scam? Uh, what did they do differently? Because we, we try and solve this all the time. Why does <laughs> one work and the other doesn't work? And we all throw tomatoes at one. And then we uplift another and say it was done so well, and now my heart is aglow. Well, it's because it was made by fans for fans. You know, there have been countless interviews with the Cobra Kai showrunners, who that's the title of the Karate mm -hmm. Kid sequel. Right. And uh, they've said, like, yeah, we grew up on the franchise, and we really want to make it special. Same with Child's Play. But, of course, it's two perspectives on this is mine you know i was born after like the mo the millennium ended so of course i have an opinion on this but i want to hear you guys and your opinion because you know you're watching these franchises get revived years after mm -hmm. being dormant yeah see i think it's kind of like this year's super bowl halftime show <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. what one of the had... what, yeah don't oh, go ahead jerry well one of the memes going around on that was if you knew the words to, you know, this 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 year's Super Bowl halftime show, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's time to schedule yeah. a colonoscopy. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it, but but it was someone made the point that if you this year's halftime show was, you know, our youth. But if you this was the same as when we were kids, if Frank Sinatra would come on TV, yeah. and our parents age would be like, Oh my God, yeah. I remember this. Yeah. And we were like, so lame. What's lame? lame. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's, I think it's just a, a generational thing. Like we mm -hmm. gravitate towards our youth, but somehow I feel like youth today are gravitating more towards our youth than we did to our parents' generation youth. Mm. Oh, maybe. Mm. Is that because we as like the parents of this generation are, are shoving their faces into Star Wars and, and everything and, and superheroes and so I think it's our thing and it's their it. thing? But it also there was no, like when we were kids, like there wasn't, you couldn't have streaming TV or they, they didn't show. I mean, we were into yeah. some of this stuff. Like we did watch Leave to Beaver every day or, you know, whatever. True. Because they just yeah. re-ran all the same stuff our parents liked. So in some ways we did. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's true. So, Will, do you have a uh, do you have a favorite? Uh, are, are you so, so you're into the MCU? You you enjoy the MCU? Uh, I you... would say that not as much as I used to, but you know oh, really? they're doing okay. really new things. Like uh, they just released a movie where they brought back characters from like 20 years ago, yeah, who weren't even in the MCU, and people loved it. It's one of the highest grossing films of all time now. You know, just like back in which the day one? when like, wait, which one? Oh, Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah, you know. Oh, I, I saw that one. That's like the yeah. one, the one out of forty-eight that I've seen. <laughs> yeah, but, which, by the way, I thought was fantastic. Yeah, well See? done. Yeah, I don't know how much I can get into it because that has nothing to do with Indiana Jones, and that feels like something for another podcast. But it, uh, it was really good. Well, we've been talking about agree. Indiana Jones for a long time. Will. Yeah, we, we, I was say, maybe, <laughs> maybe you're the alternate universe Indiana Jones podcast. Oh, maybe yeah. <laughs> well, I've I've got something about this podcast that I could ask everybody. Okay. So let let's say that the the aliens at Crystal Skull are going around collecting something meaningful from every culture, every like the dominant civilization of that time, or the most relevant cultural artifact. So if you were a Crystal Skull alien today, what would you collect? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, a Beanie Baby? An iPhone? A, a Beanie Baby? <laughs> 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 like, maybe, maybe like 1998. Yeah, really. Beanie Cabbage Baby. Patch Kid, Jerry. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, we had to get them from each era. Every great oh, era. So. Beanie yeah. Babies was an era. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> the Green Machine, Nirvana yeah. album, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boy, that's a good tickle question. me Elmo. God, that's but, God, would yeah. it, would, like what would you do that weren't toys? Like would it just in this day and age is everything just toys and movies? And it, like would that just be it? Yes. Or are there still things like? <laughs> yeah, I think you're right because <laughs> like most of these things are art or you know from that era. So I guess that from our well, movies see, this is what i'm wondering toys. i think that what if the aliens are all still here oh. they just think that everything you know post etruscan is just garbage <laughs> right they can't be bothered <laughs> yeah they just yeah, can't yeah. They, they just you know they, yeah. or maybe macedonian because that back you know, in my day yeah <laughs> I, I think they just you know they got to like uh right around like a, you yeah, know Augustus. alexander the great near like yeah. nope, that, that was that was it that was a high water that's part. about it yeah i think that's like the newest maybe that they mentioned he says macedonian and you're yeah, like all right well we're talking about alexander what 300 bc most yeah, Etruscans, stuff, I guess Etruscans are probably the same time. Yeah, yeah, it could be that. Maybe a yeah. little bit earlier. So they're they're I, I you don't hear maybe maybe the aliens are having their own generational um difficulty mm. with finding, you know, things of value that we are. Oh maybe. Yeah. yeah. What's the like next we're thing? like, oh that sucks. That yeah. sucks. That's stupid. We've you done know, Macedonia. We've done it to death. Yeah. Let's do something new. Byzantine What's the next Empire. thing? <laughs> yeah. What if they're just like neoclassical? I'm sick of it. Yeah. I have the original. I've got the classical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Collected edition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is. It's like you you bought the original Star Wars action figures when they came out in 1978, 1977, and then yeah. like you don't want the new like. The ones that come out now that are copies of the old ones or that look like the old ones. Yeah. Like right. you don't want the really muscular Luke. You want the Luke with the yellow lightsaber. Although they do right. see you come and you go into Target and they've got like the old timey packaging for those things, like the Kenner kind of action figure packaging, <laughs> yeah. but it'll be like, you know, Cad Bane. You know, like, well, I don't know. Who Cad, <laughs> what are you what? talking about? I don't know. Who's I'm just Cad, saying. Will, like, Will, Will, who's Cad Bane? Don't tell me no. You're no longer my nephew. You know who Cad Bane is. He's going to know. Is. Don't do that. He's going to know. Uh, I, I definitely know who Cad Bane is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Jerry. I guess we'll have you to change the you. introduction. <laughs> oh, man. I just looked him up. What the heck yeah. is this guy? He's yeah. a he's a bag. Oh, you, you go ahead, Will. You, it's your generation. I should. Uh, you don't have to tell me. Page. I'm just, this, oh. the picture is sort of <laughs> surprising. He just showed up on the Bill Buffett show, but he was from the cartoons, oh, okay. from the Clone Wars and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. We got into Cad Bane. Now, what do we do? We, now, we got. <laughs> Help us, Jerry. <laughs> start bailing real fast what um does anybody know <laughs> what the hell 
Mac is talking about when he comes into this room and he sees all of this? Like, what is his plan for real? I still don't know. I still like we've we've asked this a bunch of times. Like, you know, if he finds a city of gold, what's he gonna do? If he finds a room full of, you know, a thousand pound statues, what's he gonna do with it? What's he gonna do? Like, literally, like what's it, he gonna do? Is it, yeah, is he going? Is he? Why do we see? I think later. I think he's just gonna try to put as much of it in his pockets as he can, and then I bring back so. like a U-Haul. Yeah, he definitely seemed like the kind of person that would do that. So is he only reacting to like the piles of, of, of like doubloons and stuff here and there? And he's like not even seeing the statues and stuff. He's like, forget the statues. I can't stick that in my pocket. Or, or is he like, you know, is he like, I'm going to call the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going I'm to ask. To, yeah. I'm going to ask to talk to Ralph mm-hmm. and right. be like, I've got something you've got to see and it's going to cost you a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have helicopters yet? Have they yeah. to the helicopter? Okay, so maybe they, they can have. get a helicopter. And then, and then is he gonna? He's gonna like squirrel it all away, keep it there. He's gonna come out of that forest whistling, mm-hmm. like, <laughs> <laughs> like he was just here. walking, hands in his pockets. Yeah, yeah, as he's carrying an Etruscan statue, mm-hmm. he's gonna sell that to the the Natural History Museum. Yeah, and then he's going to go on vacation, and then he's gonna come back. And be like, now I have this Macedonian piece. Mm-hmm. And there's plenty and I, more where that came from. Yeah, yep. and there's, there's hundreds of museums who are going to bid for this Macedonian piece. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. What a pain in the... Bo- oh, you just get a job, Mac. Just get a job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Or, or, or <laughs> it's got to be an easier way. Better at gambling. I don't know. Exactly, don't know yeah. Be better at cards. I'm not sure why he, he... I mean, I'm getting way ahead, but he follows them out of this room in a minute. Like, I don't know why he just, just stay in here like on the phone with rider trucks or u-haul or... <laughs> right yeah save some of those tracer things he's been dropping so he can you know <laughs> lead the u-haul well, that's guy the here. other thing is he wants this all for himself and yet he's leading the russians right there mm-hmm. yeah that's a good point so it's okay it's one thing if he double quadruple quintuple crosses indy yeah and you're like okay and i guess i don't know does he plan on like killing marion and mutt and Indy and and when the Russians come, is he? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna kill them too, or is he gonna be like, I'll tell you what, you keep the skull, and yeah. I get to keep everything else? Is it? Can you just claim dibs? Is that like an internationally recognized thing? <laughs> he just says dibs on all the stuff before the Russians get there. It's like yelling shotgun. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. The uh. The skull's magnetic again. Yeah. 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 It just randomly decided decides, it should, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have a I have a I have a theory about that. I think the skull becomes activated. I was and, wondering about that. Or yeah. like like why think, do oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, okay. So when I get I, you know, I get in my I, I bought this new car. Mm-hmm. Your uncle is very successful, Will. I bought <laughs> I just car. wanted you to know. <laughs> yeah. I bought a brand new car. Three weeks ago. Paid for it with an Etruscan vase. (laughs) He called it a vase, though. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) And when I go down to the garage, I put a little torch in the the urn. Mm -hmm. I light it up. It's respectful. Yes. No, um, you know, I get in, I have a hybrid, so it's weird. You press the power button on your car, and it says ready to drive. Mm Mm-hmm. It's like now the car is activated. It's not like right. it used to turn on. I'm wondering if that's just like with the skull. Like the skull becomes activated, and then once it's been powered up, it now becomes magnetic. So is Ox just pressing the power button on and off? Either is he that. Like the little kid or, like or turning like, on and off like the noisemaker? Yes. <laughs> I, I think it's either Put that, that or like the skull gets around <laughs> something and it becomes activated and then it becomes magnetic. Hmm. I like the I idea that so. someone's pressing the on and off button since it kind of <laughs> only seems to attract when someone's trying to shoot Indy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good yeah. Right. yeah. Wouldn't it be kind of fun and funny if it was if it was constantly just as magnetic as they seem to think it is and like it was always a problem, like you kept getting stuck to things and people's belt <laughs> buckles kept getting dragged over there and stuff and That would be a great way to hold it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. just stick it to like the front of your pants on your belt buckle. <laughs> Check out my skull. It's only you know weird if you make it weird, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> right? There's room to make things weird. It's gonna be cool. 
<laughs> I'm gonna use that for the rest of my <laughs> life. <laughs> ah, listen, it's only weird if you make it weird. <laughs> I'm sitting there at Valve <laughs> doing whatever I'm doing. I can't wait to find. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to jump ahead, but I can't wait to find out if when we get a telegram from Professor Christy Porter, if she shows up or something. Because like we're looking at Will right now, and I don't oh. know if we. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm probably going to be disappointed. It's probably not well, going to happen. Should we, but... should we find out? Yeah. Okay. This just in from a. Well, can you yell, Mom? Your mom. They want a thing. <laughs> We're beeping for some reason. What do we do? Talk about the multiverse. You know, they want crashing together. Yeah. <laughs> What, what's hey, your, what's your, hey, look at this. Well, why don't you give hey. us your this just in from this Professor Chris Reporter. Here she is live. Live? What? Live, yes. <laughs> this just in. Boop, boop, boop. It's you. Live on tape. Well, what haven't you said? Well, you're, but you, we need your message. This just in. You can do it live. Yeah. All right. You wasted okay. that whole telegraph uh, to Jerry. I, just <laughs> off your phone. I, I understand, but... Oh, she does write these. Well, this doesn't go well. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, yes. Here we are. Oh. Hey, boop, I, boop, I, boop, I want to know what this doesn't go well is now. Is it like, what when you have a deadbeat son? And then, <laughs> oh, my like, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but this is so sudden. Okay. How would Indy feel about antiquity rep repatriation in the 21st century? Oh, I that's mean, a good one. Does he shop at Hobby Lobby? <laughs> uh, you should say yeah well done second yeah. hobby lobby reference call back they they had to uh they had to give back what was it was it uh dead sea scroll stuff they did they had all kinds of stuff yeah yeah mm -hmm. dead sea scroll stuff yeah. oh there was a whole a whole bunch and you all know kinds of looted iraqi artifacts cuni yeah. cuniform yeah. tablets yeah, cu am i right oh wow yeah because yeah. they were they were they felt like they had hidden inscriptions on a lot of them too and they were destroying them oh my god because they thought there were hidden inscriptions underneath. Yeah. Oh. oh, destroying? Mm. That's not good. So Indiana no, Jones, no. I guess we were, were saying that Indiana Jones would not buy his mason jars for soy wax candles there. <laughs> he would go to Michael's. <laughs> right? He would go to Michael's, Convince yeah. Indy's that diligent and mindful of an archaeologist. It's the 21st century, Pete. Come on. <laughs> I, He's I, dead I'm now. I'm Pete on this. He, 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 he lit all up when he went, and collectors. Wow. Yeah, what if aliens can do it, so can I. It must be all right. <laughs> all right, but this is much longer than my this just in, so I'm going to give you back <laughs> Excellent. Your, Fair enough. your guest. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you for your service. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that really was just, just in. That's amazing. It was like magic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you actually had a sister. That was amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Five years later. <laughs> Um, does she send you telegrams all the time, Will? Does she, is that how she communicates normally through the house, just sending telegrams? I mean, go, the closest thing in. to that, yeah, the closest thing to that is when she sends a soup emoji to tell me that it's dinner time. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop. this just in. I'm supposed to take out the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Did she ever uh, send inappropriate emojis? Uh, no, like not knowing what they mean. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> But is that something? It's a pile of fudge. That something that your mom does? <laughs> if my mom knew how to use a phone, it would be yes. Uh, Damn. Burn! <laughs> you just said your mom can't use emojis, Pete. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You just gonna take that? <laughs> Beat him up. Uh, Will, I want uh, tell us a movie you saw that has nothing to do with. Uh, your generation that you love something old timey that you're like oh my god this is amazing uh well a few months ago i watched carrie oh that's oh a movie. wow what'd you it think? is a movie yeah. yeah yeah she she watched too nice. yeah yeah so okay and you and that was a good one that you're like wow this is an old, old an old timey movie that stands up yeah it was really good it was like oh, good. almost exactly on the 45th anniversary you oh, know very nice. Yeah, nice. it was it was a terrific movie, with, based on a terrific book. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad yeah. to hear that it stands up. That's good. Yeah, it is good. All right, all awesome. right. Carrie, everybody. Carrie, check it out. Yeah. Um. Also, check out. Will you got anything to plug? I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, uh, are you appearing anywhere? <laughs> Do you appear no. 
Well, I mean, I can, but like, I'm not. I have <laughs> nothing to Spelling bee coming up. up or anything? Or? <laughs> <laughs> You're appearing in fourth period tomorrow. Spelling bee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but thank you will thank you for showing up this is yeah awesome. i think this was a lot of fun yeah it's wonderful it's Helping guests us. like you who make this whole thing bearable and enjoyable. yeah yeah <laughs> so thank you <laughs> um and everybody else thanks for listening we hope you had a fun time uh you should come back next time for more fun including minute uh 103 of Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull right here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Mom! <laughs> Go ahead, yell it. Yell it. Make her run over. Mom! <laughs> That's she nothing. comes up. Mom! Uh, <laughs> Wait, my mom's going to come running too. I oh, know. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. They wanted me to call you one last time. Bye! Oh, see, now she's going to show up. Oh, see, now she's, now she's expecting just waving at something. Yeah. Oh, no. You want to talk to mom? <laughs> Mom's going to come <laughs> Yes? Nothing. No. Well, I was going to say goodbye. <laughs> We're shutting the phone to see if uh, okay. show up. Bye-bye now. <laughs>